Hello, this is just a short screencast or screencast on how to download a Jupyter Notebook from the DLE and uh, run it through Jupyter Notebook running on your PC or Mac. So we're on the DLE and we want to look at the Jupyter Notebook for lecture one. So we click on it. Uh, this brings us to here. So just to stress, uh, uh, I'm, I'm providing the code in, in Jupyter Notebook format, but it's perfectly okay if you want to run using a different system to copy and paste uh, and run it there. If you're running PyCharm or Spider, or you can just paste the code into an existing running Jupyter Notebook. But if you want to download the code, which uh, might be advantageous, a couple of different ways of <coughs> doing this, one of which is to click on the raw button here. So this is actually what the Jupyter note, what the computer thinks the Jupyter notebook is, and this is the raw file. So you then click on uh, save page as, and here I'm going to save it on the desktop. And the important thing here is lecture one example dot i p y n b, and this the suffix uh, the ending i p y n b uh, is what the Jupyter notebook will look for uh, to tell it it's a Jupyter notebook. And here I'm actually using Firefox. So let me save it. So this is now on the computer. I had a Jupyter Notebook already running. And uh, you can see here, this is what we just downloaded. You have to find the directory uh, uh, with it, where the file is. In this case, I was running the notebook on the directory desktop, and the file was saved to desktop. And then when I click on it, I get my Jupyter Notebook. And just recall, you can it's run or run on each so there's text and there's code and each thing's done by a cell and if you want to run one cell you click on run and uh, if you want to make a modification you type into the cell run if you want to click on the text uh, You can do then rerun it. And uh, what else do you need to know? If you, uh, yeah, you, you can save it to new names. You can rename it, and you can also download it in a variety of formats: PDF. And uh, okay, so that's one way of downloading the file. Uh, if we go back to the, the DLE, uh, if we click on Jupyter Notebook Selector 1, actually if we click this thing at the top, so this is actually, uh, this is the one I'm hosting on GitHub, which is a standard place to put software. If we click on here, so here we get actually to the main the main storage area where I, I store the Jupyter Notebooks for the lectures. And, and if you click on this green thing here, this green button, you can download a zip file, and that actually gives you everything, uh, all the Jupyter Notebooks. If we go down to Downloads, so that gives you the zip file, then it's sort of un unzipped it, uh, and you see that the uh, Jupyter Notebooks are there. So then you've downloaded it with the correct suffix, and uh, and then it's just a question of uh, making sure that your Jupyter Notebooks can find that particular file. Okay, the one complication is, or uh, it, this can depend on the browser. So if I now use the Chrome browser at the top, I do the same thing. I do Jupyter Notebook for Lecture 1. Uh, I click on raw and now if I do file uh, save page as so annoyingly it adds this dot text at the end uh, which you really don't want to do so what I suggest you do for, for Chrome users is just delete the dot text and, and then you have this dot IPYNB 
So you have, then you have the file with the correct ending. And, and the Jupyter Notebook wants to see files for that ending. And then save. Okay. So you might, uh, looking like that, I tried to rename it as, uh, uh, so when you download it, you have to remove the d.tex thing at the end, uh, which is a bit annoying. Okay, that's all I wanted to say.